Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Penelope Rosé Cast Finished Bourbon. Um, this bourbon is a four grain straight bourbon whiskey. Comes in at 94 proof, non-chill filtered. Now, it is a blend of a three bourbon mash bill comprised of four grains. So, it's a blend of a, a thir three bourbon mash bill comprised of four grains. Those grains are corn, wheat, rye, and malted barley. It's finished in a rosé wine cask from the Ron, 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 not Ron, Ron region of France. It's four to four four to five year old um, bourbon. The staves are a char four and the uh, heads are char two. That seems to be their standard because if I remember right, um, when I did the toasted, that was about the same char as the toasted. Um, so the mash bill is 76% corn, 14% wheat, 7% rye, and 3% malted barley. Now, I've been into this bottle, and um, I really enjoy it. It's really good. Um, it's, it's a finished bourbon. It is MGP, as most of you know or don't know. Um, so it's MGP whiskey that is finished in rosé wine casks. All right, let's get into the glass. So as you can see, it is lighter in color. It doesn't have that deep caramel look. Um, it looks fairly clear in some spots, so I'm gonna say it's, it's a lighter, lighter color. Um, definitely doesn't come off as dark as most whiskeys. It does have some good legs. It's coating the glass, sticking onto the glass very well. Um, this is batch number seven, for those that wanted to know. It's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. The legs are very nice for 97 proof. Or 94, I'm sorry. I did that again. I did that in one other video. I tasted before I smelled. Shame on me. So I'm going to hold that taste. I'm going to go in for the nose. I won't edit this because you know what? Why? Why? on the nose um, you get very little if any ethanol you really wouldn't expect it with a 94 proof whiskey bourbon but you do get some very um, sweet fruits you, you get fruits on the nose the nose for me is actually kind of light um, there's not a lot coming off of it Yeah, I'm searching. I mean, I get I get a little bit of fruitiness, but I don't get a lot. It's it's like I'm searching for it. So for me, the nose is light. And for me, there's not a lot going on in the nose. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go in for the taste. Take 2. So on the taste, right off the bat, um, I believe you get that that wine finish. Um, you do get fruity notes. You get a little bit of a barrel. Um, you get a, a little tiny touch 
of the rye coming through. Um, you get some sweetness. I'm not getting a lot of the malted barley. Normally when there's malted barley in something, I would get a, a chocolate or a coffee note. But a 3% malted barley, I don't. I think it's barely there. And that's true because I'm hardly getting any of that. Um, the finish is quick. The sweetness stays with you, but there, there's very little very little hug, very little burn. Um, in my opinion, I think aging it in the rosé cask took all that away. You're just getting that, that floral sweetness um, from the wine cask. You want to go in for another sip? Yeah, you get some herbal notes in there. You get some floral. Um, you get a little bit of sweetness. It's not really a fruit sweetness. It's not really a, a candy sweetness. It's just sweet. Maybe a, a touch of honey. Um, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy for me. It's not horrible. I enjoy it. Um, it just... For me... It's not something that's jumping out crazy, exciting, good. And that's where I'm at with it. Um, let me try it one more time. Yeah. Herbal. Sweet. Almost a tea note. Um, you get that wine finish. It's not bad. It's a good sipper. Um, is it something that I'm going to run out and grab a backup for? This one? Probably not. Um, if I see it, I may pick it up, but I'm not going to search for it. Do I like it? Yeah, I like it. It's 94 proof. It does have some good qualities to it. Um, I think it's a little light. And maybe for a 94 proofer, it's going to be a little bit light. Um, yeah. That's about it. It's not a horrible whiskey. It's not bad um, for me. I'm glad I got it. It's a good experience. And what's in there isn't bad. It's just not something I'm going to rush out to get another one again. But Penelope, if you're watching, please, a different cork. I shouldn't need a screwdriver to get this off. That is the biggest pain in the butt. Anyways. Thank you guys. If you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, do all the things. We have a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page. And um, check us out. We're trying to build a community. And we want to see you there. Have a good night. Cheers.